Hi, it's um, it's Tamara in Texas, and it is November 8th at 2.21 in the afternoon. Um, we're looking at an app called Daff Moon, and I've put the date to be November 3rd at 11 a.m., and I'm going to advance it by the hour. So I'm going to click the buttons here to, to show what happens to the moon. Um, as you can see, that little symbol right where it says Waxing Crescent 43%, it shows that it's not visible from Houston, Texas right now. And I'll show you more on that in a second, but let's advance this by the hour. So we're at 11 a.m., noon, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, midnight, into the 4th, 1 a.m., 2, 3, now you can see it starts to go back the other way, 5, 6, I'm going to go a bit faster, there's a big jump there, from 6 a.m. to 7 a.m., 8, 9, 10, 11, back the other way. Now I'm going to go through it quickly, just advance a couple days so you can see the rotation, which is becoming more extreme. Two years ago it wasn't, wasn't this much. So we're into the 5th at 5 p.m. already. So you can see how that works. Um, for each screen, if you click on this info button, it pulls up, I mean, more data than you can use. I mean, everything, basically. You've got your uh, right ascensions, your declinations, your Latin longitude, apparent diameter, elongation, illuminations, I mean, everything. So that's really good info. Um, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it back to November 3rd. And I'm going to change that time back to 11 a.m., which is where we first started. 11 a.m., okay. And instead of advancing by the hour, I'm going to advance by the day, by the 24-hour period, which is that second set of arrows at the top. So we're at 11 a.m. now. Here we go. Wait, what did it do? Okay, we're on the 4th at 11 a.m. still. The 5th, 6th. 7th, 8th, 9th, 10th. I'm going to go quickly now. So this is 11 a.m. every single day going forward in time. So when you see this, you're like, oh my God, you know, this is crazy. And, you know, it blew my mind and I didn't know what it meant or anything else for a long time now, so... I'm going to show you the next set of things, which gives a lot more evidence. So, just to make this easy, I'm just going to jump to right now, which is uh, November 8th at 2.25 in the afternoon, which is what we've got right now. And I'm going to go over to this tab at the bottom called Sphere, and I'm going to get rid of some of this data to keep it simple to start with. And you can see the directions and you can spin this all around and everything. I'm going to put it pretty much east-west like that. So you can see right now where the sun is for me here in Houston, Texas. And you can see where the moon is. I'm going to leave it here kind of in this mode. And I'm going to advance again by the hour. And I guess to be consistent I should go back to November 3rd. Sorry, hang on. November 3rd, and we're going to 11 a.m., right? Sorry. 11 a.m., okay. Okay, so that's how it looked at 11 a.m. on the 3rd. I couldn't see the moon, and the sun was supposedly where it's supposed to be. Okay, advancing by the hour. Here we go. Okay, now let's make it more interesting. 
Let's go back to 11 a.m. on the 3rd. Okay. And I'm going to advance it by the day. So here we go. From November 3rd, it'll go to November 4th. Here we go. So you can see the moon. Um, well, obviously didn't used to, to do that. So at this point, I was starting to question, you know, hmm, what is it doing? What is going on here with this, you know? Let's go back to the third. <laughs> November 3rd, 11 a.m. Okay, we've done it by the hour. We've done it by the day. So what we're going to do now is we're going to add in the ecliptic, which is this teal colored line. And when I first was looking at this, of course, I assumed that, you know, it took me a long time to get my head around the fact that we are moving, not it. Because in this visualization, of course, we are still, and everything's moving around us. We're actually moving, you know. So um, you have to kind of use spatial relationship skills <laughs> beyond belief to, to be able to see this in your mind's eye. But um, I'm going to go ahead by the hour and show you what's happening with the ecliptic. So here we go by the hour. Definitely not what we were taught in school. To make it even more interesting, I'm going to jump back to our 11 a.m. <laughs> on the 3rd. And I'm going to add in all of the planets. So you can see them there. I'm changing the angle a little bit, but Leave it right around there. Here we go by the hour. And again, this is from Houston, Texas, so it would be slightly different from anywhere else in the world. Now, I have taken a million photos over the last two years and confirmed 100% of the time that this app is accurate for where the sun is and where the moon, moon is. I've been able to see... Jupiter, Venus, and Mars several times, you know, and made quick videos of them, and they were in the right place according to this app. Um, as far as I can tell, it's completely correct. There's a lot more to it, but I'll get into all that some other time. So anyway, um, you have to see that it's not all the, that's moving, that's us moving. <laughs> Our wobble is way, way more than, than what we thought. And we are, you know, both rotating and tilting and spinning all at the same time a lot more than we thought. So, anyway, um, I just wanted to get this info to you. And I hope you understand it more easily than I have. Um, let me do real quick, I'll do it by the month so you can see that. Back to the third, back to 11 a.m., Sorry to be tedious. Okay, we're going to do it by the day. So we're going to go to November 4th at 11 a.m. Here we go. I find it really fascinating the way the moon and the sun stay on the ecliptic while having their own, you know, paths that is what we see, what we used to see, that's for sure. But um, I've definitely come to the conclusion that you know, it's it's us. We're the ones that are, are changing like that. And I can't believe it's not affecting our tides more or anything else. But, you know, measures have been definitely taken um, to minimize the effects of what's happening. So it's really hard to, to figure out what's going on. Um, that was just, that jump that you just saw was actually daylight saving time on the other end. We just had it on the third, and this is in March. It does it again. 
just in case you thought we tipped over or something. Not quite yet. <laughs> anyway, thank you so much. I'm going to send this to you now. Thank you. Bye.